What is going on everybody? Today we found a 2021 Thor Tuscany that is loaded with value. This is the 40RT floor plan. This coach is a bath and a half bunk model with the Cummins 450 and is an excellent value at $355,555. You can see it's got the higher profile Girard awnings that go almost the entire length of this coach, giving you a ton of patio space below your awnings here. There's a lot of little details in this coach, like the paint job continues up into the awnings just to give it a finished out look. Uh, the best part about this coach is it's available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. The Motor Coach Store is a boutique type operation, unlike the big box stores. This is the same dealership that has coaches like this beautiful Prevo Emerald coach, a million dollar plus coach here, and you're gonna get the same treatment on this Thor Tuscany that you would with that Prevo. The PDI process here at the Motor Coach Store is second to none. Not only do they go through these coaches extensively before they come to market, you can also tell their detail process is second to none. They did full paint correction on this coach. They go through the entire interior with an air hose, really a deep clean. And when you touch and feel these coaches in person, you can really notice a difference of a coach that's gone through the motor coach store process. But not only do they go through these coaches extremely thoroughly, but when you do purchase this coach, they will have a technician go over all of the systems on the coach with you, show you how to work it. You can even camp the night out here and just touch and feel everything and make sure you understand how to operate everything in the coach. So there's a lot of value to purchasing a coach here at the motor coach store over other big box stores. But let's take a closer look at this coach. This is on the Freightliner chassis. Bay one is gonna be storage and you can see it's very easy to clean. Bay two is gonna be a full pass through bay with a full slide out tray. Again, very easy to clean. Here's a look at your exterior entertainment system with the TV and sound bar. And as we're going around out here, I've got a point out the little details in the paint, like this little drop shadow here, and really a stunning paint job. I'm loving these colors. Here's another look at Bay 3, a full pass through Bay without the slide out tray. It does have outlets and the central vac. This bay is gonna house the holding tanks. You're gonna have a 90 gallon fresh water, 70 black, 50 gray, and 150 gallons of diesel fuel. It's got frameless windows and the Tuscany styling is really slick. I like the rear end of this coach. It's a very symmetrical, beefy rear end. Here's another storage uh, bay here behind the rear axle. Battery disconnect, lifeline chassis batteries. So you have the hitch here with the 10,000 pound towing capacity. Little outlet there for your air. Pre-wired for your trailer as well. This is a side radiator coach. I love the Tuscany badging and that chrome finish. It's your DEF fill with a gauge here to monitor your depth level. Here's a look at the plumbing bay, all super clean, power hose reel, your sewer tank flush, your tank fills outside shower. You can turn your water pump on and off out here, all very clean, very simple. Here's a look at that storage bay, full pass-through bay with a power 50 amp cord reel and a surge guard power protection system. Pass-through bay and the full slide out tray. This bay is going to house your Aqua Hot 400. Then here's your hydraulic system up front and our generator release. We'll just pull this to release that generator door. Own in 10,000 with only 149 hours on it, barely broken in. And check out how clean that bay is. All right, this coach has a beautiful exterior, but let's go take a look inside this coach. That's what it's all about. Favorite part about this coach is the cockpit area and we do have the acs blowing ice cold in here so i apologize for any background noise when we sit down here you can see it's on the freightliner chassis and i really like this very large screen over here so we can use our navigation it's almost like a giant ipad 
the way you can select your music. It's very easy to read everything. Just a great system and very similar to using a phone. So while you're driving, you don't have to pay a lot of attention. And then you've got your simple standard air conditioning controls, a USB port, sun shades, night shades, your bay door lock button, map light, your generator start stop button out up here. This does have a push button engine start. When we fire this up, you can see it's a digital dash. Very comfortable, very solid. Tire pressure monitoring, all very easy to read. Another cup holder over here, your leveling controls. And this is what the keys look like, kind of cool. That uh, keyless entry look reminds me of like a BMW key. Auxiliary start, your mirror controls, air horn, all that good stuff. Now, when we go back into the coach here, you can see the styling is absolutely beautiful. This is a great floor plan with a lot of sleeping. Now, right now we have all of the shades up to get a look at that view at this pond here at the motor coach store, but we can pull these up and down. You do have day and night shades. So this is gonna be your day shades, or we could bring the night shades down. I like that those are all manual, very easy to get to, and beautiful styling on the ceiling here with the lighting and that air conditioning is blowing ice cold. You've got a fireplace with a TV over here and then another TV on a televator behind this couch. So we just sit down here in the recliners and press this button one time. And a very large TV will come up over there but if you've got a nice view like you do here and you want to put the TV away, you can utilize that space both ways. Now, this couch will turn into sleeping as well. And one of the really cool things about this coach is it actually has a bunk up top here. You do have to turn this little key to put the bunk up and down just so that it doesn't come down on the driver while the coach is in motion. But just a great use of this space when everyone's parked bring that bunk down and you get more sleeping. So it's very responsive. It feels very sturdy. And boom. You've got a little ladder right here. You've got a ladder and this is actually a good size bed. I would say this is probably around a full size bed. And then there's little storage areas up here like we saw so you can put your stuff in there. These recliners over here, I've got to point out They've got the cup holders in the middle, as well as a good amount of storage there for all of your remotes and everything is in excellent condition. I love the lighting here, the style of the lighting. And then these will pull out. You just hit that little button. They will recline if you wanna sit back and watch some TV and you got a spot to set your cold drink there. Storage above the recliners. I really like the hardware and the style of this cabinetry and a beautiful countertop and backsplash here in the kitchen. I've got to give everybody a close up. And this will have this island that pulls out here. There's a little lever that you pull and give you that extra countertop space and more storage here on the end of this island. Very deep drawers. Farmhouse style sink. Love the look of that. Just kind of an industrial look. And then your Fisher Pickel dishwasher. And I love the lighting below the cabinets as well a little bit of storage here below your sink got this nifty little slide out tray so if you want to put a trash can or trash and recycle in there and a little bit of storage there below your dishwasher and i like how they brought that backsplash down here as well it just really ties together well and here's a little uh, outlet that pops out of the countertop there and then this does have the induction cooktop as well as a Whirlpool microwave. And here's your kitchen lighting and fan controls here. It does have a vent with the fan. You have the shades closed up right now, but there is a good, but there is a good size window here to utilize that view from your galley area. And then some storage up top here. And you've got a Sony TV over here with the fireplace. And I really like that this booth has cup holders in it. I'm surprised more manufacturers don't do that, but I do like that. And then also the style here. So if you want to sit with your back 
to the wall there there's a little pad there makes it very comfortable to sit in this booth and then storage overhead here then just a little spot for storage here but they're just utilizing this space in case you have any narrow belongings you want to store in there and then a little pull-out pantry here behind the tv utilizing that space I really like how the tile work around the fireplace ties in together really well with the floors as well as the countertops over there. Just a really nice look. Uh, now this coach is a bath and a half, but first I've got to show you this panel here. So we can control almost every feature in the coach from this panel. We've got our different climate controls, our lighting controls. We can monitor all of our battery systems climate control slide control fan controls just a lot of stuff going on all easy to access from this panel half bathroom here they brought in the same countertop and backsplash that we saw in the galley a beautiful faucet there plenty of room around the toilet and a little bit of countertop space here behind your head as well and you do have a good amount of storage here. A very cool style on the lighting here in the bathroom. This does have a Whirlpool residential refrigerator freezer with the water and ice dispenser. And here's a little locking mechanism so that this doesn't open while you're going down the street. But you can see very clean inside of this coach. The folks that traded this in, they traded it in for a new old. You can tell they they live very clean and they took very good care of this coach. So it does have a king size bed that will tilt up there to give you a little more room in front of the bed. Same styles that we saw throughout the coach. We've got windows on both sides of the bed as well as some countertop space and a little bit of storage here below. And then storage for pillows or whatnot above your bed as well. And then a lot of wardrobe here on both sides of your TV. And then a good spot here with some countertop space just to set stuff down and a little outlet there. So you got plenty of wardrobe space with drawers below it on both sides. So I like that it's kind of a split plan there for couples. And then a ceiling fan there as well as a full length mirror over here. You got to always keep an eye on make sure your shoes are looking good or whatnot. So I like the full length mirror. And then as we go into the rear bathroom here, a really good sized shower with that same beautiful tile work. A lot of countertop space around your bathroom sink. And this is actually going to be kind of cool. This deep pull out pantry. A little different than we see in most coaches, but a cool way to utilize this space. A little drawer down there as well. Good sized mirror. You've got outlets and then a good amount of storage below your sink. And then there is a stackable Whirlpool washer dryer here in the rear bathroom and a lot of room around your rear toilet with countertop space along the side there, as well as a vent with a fan and a window here in the bathroom if we want to get a little uh, natural light in here. And then this is an emergency exit as well. And then a little storage up here. So this coach is priced at $355,555, which is significantly less than other 2021 Thor Tuscanys on the market right now. This is all in excellent condition in the wrapper and a lot of equipment getting the Cummins 450 bunk bath and a half late model Freightliner chassis with all this updated technology. Really a tremendous value at the $355,555 number. So if you are a serious buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait at the Motor Coach Store here in Bradenton, Florida. I also appreciate all of you out there on YouTube that are subscribed to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.